spiders. Some people love them and some people hate them. Which one are you? Welcome to my new studio. Yes, that's right. I haven't been posting much in the past couple of months because I've been busy renovating and moving. If you would like to know more, you can always visit my Patreon where you'll be able to see many behind the scenes videos of the full process. But today I would like to sketch a spider. I can see some spider webs looking outside my window and even some tiny little spiders. So if you would like to sketch with me, you will need a piece of paper, smudging tools, pencils, erasers that we usually use for drawing tutorials. So the first thing that I'd like to do is to do a little sketch with really soft lines, gently marking the body and marking direction of the legs. For this, I'm just going to use lines like that. Don't over complicate things in the beginning. So here we have the body of the spider, really roughly sketched up. Next is to place some of the spider web. Now it will not be the full spider web, it'll be sort of a little bit of a broken up, you know, like an older spider web kind of a thing. Next, I'm going to work with restructuring the body in a more correct and more precise way. As you have noticed, as, as always, I use pencils that are not too dark, so something like B or 2B is always good to start with. So here I'm going to mark through the thicker parts of the leg and the rest of them as well. And now I'm going to start shading. At this stage I'm just blocking in the thicker, darker parts of the spider. At this stage you can also correct the shape. If there is something you need to add, next you can go for a smudge stick. If you don't have one handy, you can always I watch my video on smudge sticks and learn about very cheap and handy alternatives. Next I'm gonna go for the softer pencil, something like 7B over here. And now I'm going to bring out the darkest shadows. This is a black widow spider and so it has a specific shape to it. Just a little bit of almost like a fuzz on the body, which you can create by using a cross hatching technique. Now let's pay a little bit more attention to the areas where the legs join the body. Again, a little bit of a smudge. By the way, let me know in the comments below whether you are watching this to relax or to learn and follow along. I would love to know that. So you see how by smudging we're actually creating this effect of the fluff and that fuzziness. Now what I'm going to do next might look a little bit strange, but you will see the payoff at the end. So I'm going to just use the smudge stick and you see how my smudge stick is quite dirty. If your one is quite clean then perhaps you might want to scribble a little bit of graphite on a separate piece of paper and then pick up some graphite from there.
So what we want to create is we want to create that illusion of the spider web, but in a very soft, almost milky kind of a way. Next, we want to make sure that we are creating some of the areas that are super dark. Next, you can use a mechanical pencil or a really, really well sharpened regular pencil. And now it's time for some super intense details. Things like little folds and things around the legs. This is time now to do those things. You know, the little tiny joints. And also now we can get into the detail on the thinner parts of the legs. Little fluffy bits. You see here, when we are starting to work on this leg, before we've smudged it into the body of the spider, so now is the time to bring it out. So we're going to create a little bit of the shadow on the sides of the leg, and then we can create a highlight with the razor. I'm going to use a putty rubber. And just to bring it out a little bit. By the way, forgive me for the mess around and things not looking as nice as I'd like them to, but slowly and surely I will get everything up to scratch in my studio. By the way, if you would like to see more videos or you might like to see some behind the scenes videos, visit my Patreon page because I have so many videos there so far and different posts and we have so much fun with voting and suggesting videos and winning prizes and all sorts of things so don't forget to check it out and now let's get back to the video the spider is actually quite scary looking because it has these almost like little hooks on the end of its legs shading the body with the cross etching technique with this tiny little pencil again to create more of that fluffy sort of a you know feel I'm going to do the same thing with this leg as I did with this one so first creating a little bit more of the definition in the shadow and then removing just a tiny little bit with the eraser A little bit of the belly smudge. Now I'm going to create highlights on the on the body on the belly. So a little bit of a highlight there, just on the top. And just a little bit of the fluffy one, of the fluffy highlights. They are now going again for a very soft and very dark pencil, something like 7B, 8B, 9B would work as well. And just creating the really, really dark shadow because we want to create the contrast, even though it's quite a dark spider, we still want that contrast there. You see, if I want to achieve a really dark look, 
what I usually do is just go over many 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 times almost scribbling but here I want it darker but not too too dark so I'm just putting in these marks and if you want it lighter you can always just use an eraser and put a few more marks now let's go back for this tiny pencil and create a bit more texture all throughout the body again and also on the outside so where the body meets the background you know that area you can add a bit of fluff and you see how when we were smudging with a smudge stick it sort of created that softer kind of a look without having these um, harsher lines or really sharp lines and you actually want to leave it like that because we want to keep it very misty and very sort of a mysterious looking so make sure that you don't go and clean it up if you want that look as well if you want to enhance that feel you know that softness and smudginess you can get a fluffy brush and just very lightly without pressing without going too hard just softening now let's not forget the fangs that are showing just a little bit here at the front and little details like the back here and of course one thing we really need to work on now is the spider web so for that gonna put a few more defined lines along the ones that we've smudged again I'm using a very thin fine pencil remember this is not a proper spider web this is a broken down spider web you can just put them any way you like very chaotically the main trick here is to make some areas darker and some areas leave them quite light so here just darkening that almost like one strand here and then as it goes out it becomes lighter what you also want to do is you want to create lots and lots of lines because um, that's what that's what spider webs are lots and lots of very fine thin little lines You can follow the directions of the previous lines that we've created with this much stick. So we're effectively here spinning a web for the spider. If you look closely, you will notice that I'm not holding my pencil like this, but rather holding it like that. And that is to avoid the really harsh lines and now I'm gonna use a bit of a smudge stick what we're after is a soft look but only in some areas so we don't want to smudge everything just some areas and perhaps make them darker by doing this and again back to this 
for moments. And now we can put some wild ones all across the page. So now all that's left to do is to create a lighter spot on the belly, which is usually red. But since we're working in black and white, just creating it a little bit lighter. Like that. By now you can also clean up anything that's just outside as well. I would not suggest cleaning things up too close, too tight to the spider itself. But just outside. Like this. So here we go. Please remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know in the comments are you scared of the spiders or do you think they're your friends i would like to say a big big thank you to my wonderful wonderful patrons who have been supporting me and we've been having so much fun on patreon thank you again guys i hope you will have a lovely lovely day or night and thank you so much for drawing with me